Now we'll go through the process of creating the Ubuntu server virtual machine on a Mac. First we'll click New and click Continue. For the name, we're going to go ahead and choose StatusNet. For operating system, we're going to choose Linux. The version will be Ubuntu. Now we'll click Continue. We'll go with the 512 megabytes of RAM. And now we'll create a new virtual hard disk, just like we did in the Windows option. This hard disk will not be a physical drive, but a file located on your real hard disk. To the virtual machine, this virtual hard disk file will appear as if it's a real hard drive. So we'll go through the Create Wizard. We'll choose VDI as our virtual box disk image. And here we're going to choose the fixed size option because it provides better performance, but will require that we have 8 gigs of actual disk space available. We'll store the file in the same location that we're storing the virtual machine. 8 gigs will be our default size, and we'll click Continue. Once we've reviewed all the changes we're going to make, we'll click Create to create the VDI virtual disk image. You may note that this process may take a while depending on the speed of your system and how long it takes to create an 8 gigabyte file. Now that our virtual disk file is created, we can now complete the summary of creating our new Ubuntu virtual machine server. And there you have it. Our virtual machine has now been created. But we're going to make a few changes to this virtual machine before we power it on. Now go to the settings option for our StatusNet virtual machine. In the settings option, choose the storage icon. Here you'll see that we have a virtual CD-ROM connected to a virtual IDE controller, and we have our virtual hard drive connected to a virtual SATA controller. We'll choose the CD-ROM drive and click on the icon on the right that looks like a CD. Here you'll choose the virtual CD DVD disk of the Ubuntu server ISO image you downloaded earlier. We'll choose the ISO image and open. Now we'll also tick the live CD DVD box so that the CD boots when we start the StatusNet server. Now we'll click on the network option and take a look at how we're attached to the network. In most cases, attaching using NAT routing allows your Mac to basically act as a router to decide where the packets are to be delivered, the information from the internet to your host computer, your Mac, or your virtual computer, in this case, the Ubuntu server. If you want your StatusNet to have its own network address and be seen as a separate entity on the network, you can choose Bridged Adapter and choose your Ethernet or your wireless network connection, whichever one gets you onto your network. For most cases, however, NAT will be perfectly fine. Click OK, and we're now ready to begin our Ubuntu server install. Thank you.